Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today we are working on organizing, cleaning, and decluttering my son's small bedroom. As you can see, it was looking really unorganized, and there was just way too much stuff, and it desperately needed to be picked up too. So we're doing a big declutter, we're organizing his new bookshelves, we're also decluttering his clothes and reorganizing all of his drawers. I share small space organization idea videos here on my channel all the time, so if you live in a small home and you have trouble organizing, then you have found the right place. I share all things cleaning and decluttering as well, so if you're in need of ideas, just some motivation, or even just a friend to hang out with while you're getting things done, then I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and come back every week for a new video. A lot of the time before I can even think about getting into the organizing or decluttering, I just need to pick up a little bit. So starting with the bed, making the bed always makes a huge difference in any space, but especially if you live in a small home, if your bed is unmade in your small little bedroom, it's going to make the whole bedroom feel like a complete disaster. So I always start with the bed. It just makes me feel better and it makes the space instantly feel a little bit more clean and tidy. When I make my son's bed for him, I always line up all of his stuffed animals so they look like they're sitting on the pillows waiting for him when he gets home and he just likes it when I do this, so I keep doing it. Something that is so, so, so tricky to keep up with is schoolwork. So if you have a child that brings home artwork and school papers and everything all the time, then you totally understand what I mean. The paper clutter can build up so fast and it's something that we have an ongoing battle with. So while I was in his room, I noticed there was a pile of his school papers. So I went through them and only kept the ones that I felt like we needed to keep and anything else I did toss into a laundry basket. And everything that went into the laundry basket on this day was something that I was planning on throwing out. Fellow parents, you will have to let me know how you feel about Legos. I am really not a fan of Legos. They're such a mess and the little pieces end up all over the place, which is especially nerve wracking when you also have a little baby. We have a one year old too, so I feel like I'm just constantly finding Legos and it scares me because they're a choking hazard. So not a big fan of them, but he, my son has been gifted a couple of Lego sets and I can't just throw them away on him, at least not yet. So unfortunately had some Legos I needed to put back together and find a safer space for. I would love to eliminate this drawer system altogether, but we're just not 
quite there yet. I need to do a little bit more decluttering in his closet before I can consolidate everything from these drawers into the closet and get this out of his room. But for now, I am just going through each drawer and doing some decluttering. And in this one in particular, there was all the little pieces to things that you don't even know what they go to and they all end up in a bin together. So I decided that it was time to just get rid of them. So if you're looking for something easy that you can declutter right now, Look for all the little pieces to the toys. It's time to get rid of them. Your child is not going to miss them or probably ever notice that they're gone. In this drawer, my son was keeping all of his things that go to his smashers and smashers are like a collectible toy. There's a bunch of eggs and they have different like dinosaurs in them that you can build and things like that. And my son loves to open the eggs and do the activity. There's a lot of slime in it and things that you have to go through in order to get the little pieces. And he loves that. But then once he's built it, he really never plays with it again. So it's just clutter for me, but I can't throw all of it away at once. He will notice and he'll get really upset. So I am just doing the best I can to get rid of all the extras that we really don't need and slowly dwindle down the collection of smashers. Now that we have made some room in these drawers, I'm going to put some of the things that just didn't have a place away into the drawers to finally give them a place. The thing that I was most looking forward to doing on this day was organizing his new bookshelf. I got this from Target. It is from the Room Essentials line, I believe, and it was like 70 bucks when I bought it, which isn't too bad, I suppose, but it's a corner bookshelf, and I really like that because it provides a lot of storage space, but I feel like it doesn't take up a lot of space in the room because it's utilizing the corner the way that it is, if that makes sense. And it's also kind of tall, so I feel like it kind of uses the vertical space, and it just works really well for what we needed it for. You don't have to store books in this if you don't want to. The different compartments, I believe, can hold 11-inch fabric storage bins. So you could use this for really anything. So if you have a small bedroom, especially for a kid, this would be a great addition and I'll have it linked in my description box down below. I wanted to put all of his books away into different categories in the bookcase, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just separating them out into categories that make sense to me and that I also think will make sense to my five-year-old. The goal here is for everything to have a place and also for it to be easy for my son to put everything back himself. These are all the categories that I came up with. So we've got some educational books, we have holiday seasonal books, we've got like construction truck books, and then we've got story books, we've got classic books, and we also have some character books and some of the like learn to read, step into reading books that my son can pretty much read on his own, which is still so mind boggling to me. I just cannot believe how smart he is and the fact that he's reading, just crazy. Some of the compartments were really deep, so you could actually store, you honestly might be able to fit two fabric storage bins into 
those sections like one behind the other so i like that because i feel like the designers of this bookcase didn't skip out on any of the storage and none of it is being wasted Categories, like I said, makes the most sense to us because it just keeps it easy for my five-year-old to pick up after himself and put his books away in the proper place. And so far, it's actually worked out really well because this morning, the day that I'm doing these voiceovers, he noticed that my husband put one of his books back in the wrong spot. And he was like, that is not a storybook. That is this book. It should go here. And it was just funny that he already noticed that and fixed it. Some people like to store their books like the colors of the rainbow and that looks really pretty but again for us that just doesn't work right now. It just makes more sense to do categories to keep it easy for the level that my child is at but organization is very personal in general. You should always do what works best and functions best for you and your family. I probably need to get some bookends because some of these keep falling over which is going to drive me crazy but this is so much better as far as book storage goes so this um the side actually runs really really deep so there's more storage back there that i may end up using for other things but for now it's they're just all pulled forward but the way i organized these was by type for the most part so these books are all of like the construction set on Christmas night, digger sore, little blue truck um, type of series that we own. And then down here I put all educational books. So he's got a bunch on dinosaurs and fish, but he's also got um, stuff on like the human body and just things like that. So that's the educational section. And then down below I have seasonal books. So anything Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween, they're all down here. I haven't figured out what I'm going to put in these front sections here, but I think I'll leave that football there because he's he'll like that. And then on this side, I have his Captain Underpants books. He also collects some of these Norwal books. So I've got those together. And then these are like classic books, um, older ones that were passed down to us on this side. And then on that side, um, these are like books that he can read. So a lot of them are like the step into reading or they're just like character books that go together and then on the bottom we just have storybooks so this is so much better they're all organized a lot better and it'll be easier to find what we're looking for and i think he's going to like this these books right here just would not fit because they were so tall so i'm going to go ahead and put those ones back into his closet Now that we're finishing up the bookshelf organization, I'm just going through the few things that were on Carson's bed, getting them off of there, and then we're going to start working on his clothes. So lately, my husband has been the one who's been taking care of folding his laundry and putting it away for me, which is great, but I've been starting to notice that sometimes Carson comes out ready for the day and his pants are like a little bit too short or his sleeves are a little bit too short on his arms too, because he's just growing so fast. So it was time for me to do a deep dive into all of his clothes and go through them and find the things that were no longer fitting him. So the first thing that I'm doing is going through this laundry basket that was full of clean clothes, folding anything that can be put away and throwing aside anything that is now too small. You'll notice that the laundry basket is now full again, and that's because I did another load of Carson's laundry that morning, so he had a whole bunch of other clean clothes that needed to be gone through. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm folding whatever I can to put away, and then anything else that's too small for him, I'm putting aside. I 
I have talked about this a few times recently, but I usually do the filing method when I'm folding my kids' clothes and my clothes because it just looks nice and it's nice when you can open their drawer and see everything that they have without having to dig around. But back to organization being personal, sometimes things like that just don't work for you or your family and in this case, it was no longer working for us. Folding laundry was becoming too daunting of a task and it was taking too much of my time, so I had to give up control on that and just fold it quick, fold it simple, and also allow my husband to fold it and put away the clothes so that it would get done as opposed to it just sitting in a laundry basket for weeks because it's just too daunting for me to think of having to perfectly fold every single article of clothing. But also, my son is five and when he goes through his drawers, he doesn't care how neat and organized it looks. He's still going to dig through everything and mess it up. So there's really no point in going out of my way to make sure that everything looks perfect because within a couple of days, it's just going to be a mess again. So it was too much of a time suck and it was causing too much anxiety and it just wasn't working for us and it wasn't worth it for us. But if you like doing that system, it looks really nice and it makes the most sense but it just doesn't always work for everybody. I also was really liking these drawer liners for a while to kind of compartmentalize everything that's in the drawer, but that was also not working for me anymore, so I decided to remove those. We've just gone back to very simple folding and putting the clothes away and not worrying so much about the aesthetics. And right here is a perfect example of why I'm no longer doing the filing method because as you could see, everything was just a mess and thrown around in there from my son digging through it. So there's just no point. I've had a ton of people tell me that they always buy their kids socks that are all one color so it's really easy to find matches and I think that's a great idea. I've tried to find socks that are like that but when I like go to Target and check out the sock aisle, they're all different. So I've yet to find socks like that to buy but we've had a really tough time with socks recently. Every single brand that we've bought, they rip really really fast i don't know if my son's just really rough with his socks or what it is but there's always holes in the toe and holes in the heel of his sock as well it's like a constant battle as my son has gotten older i've noticed that his clothes doesn't hold up as well as it did when he was a little baby so it's hard for me to find things that are good enough to keep for our baby for when he gets bigger for him to grow into so a lot of this was honestly trash it wasn't even donatable because there was holes in them and stains that are never going to come out so i just went through this figured out what was still good and what wasn't some of it i kept but a lot of it i had to go ahead and throw away This is so random, but I noticed that there was like marks on his door, so I was just cleaning them off. But now I'm also going through everything that was in the laundry basket and throwing that into the garbage bag as well.
I'm doing a very, very quick vacuum of the perimeter of the room, and then we're going to call it a day. His room was feeling so much better, a lot less stuff. I was really happy with how much I was able to declutter. I had a big bag that was full of just trash, and then in that laundry basket on the right was clothes that I'm able to save for Sutton when he gets bigger. But overall, a very good day. Got that bookcase organized, got everything done on my list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this declutter and small bedroom organization. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you are new and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll come back again next week for another video. Just watch me pray.